There's one going into the water. So big! Some of them are having Are they still coming? They're so cute! Oh my god, they are so cute. I want one. Can I have one? Enjoying life. The hippo. Struggling. Oh, they are really tall, aren't they? Wolf over there. They're so cute. See, so you want them to sit them down, no? Oh my god, look. Where are you Oh my god. Go away. Watch the giraffe too. Oh my god, look. Look at that one sitting down. Oh look, they're so cute. Oh, he's running. Don't you scare them away? What, with my face? Camera shy, I'd say that's out there. <laughs> I'd say so. But they're so cute. I want one. I just missed a fight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh. Oh. Look at the puppy. He's so cute. It's the tree eyed raven. It's like it's like this is the African horn. Looks like the tree eyed raven. It is a lazy Sunday for these hogs. Enjoy. That's me when I'm home over drinking water. Cute. You didn't take a quick enough. Hello! Oh my god, they're so cute. Oh, look at him. Oh, I'm wondering if he's hiding like how do we get in here? What the fuck was that? Oh look! Look! Oh my god. That was that's so cute. They are the best, aren't they? Penguin! Oh! They're following us. Come on. Look! Ooh, when it's lower. Hello! Oh my god, he's so cute! Hello, friend! Hello! Hello, friend! Hi Bill. Hi Bob. Hello. Hello. Oh my god, there's so cute. Oh look at That's me. I think I'm my spirit animal is a penguin. I really, really do. For sure. Oh my god. Can I have like her ears and crying? Can I have one? Can I have one? Can I have you? Can I? Can I have you? They're so cute. Oh my god, I want one. Oh, 
Oh, look at the little hops they did. He's oh, no one has a little bundle. Hello, penguin. Hello. 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 Island, we actually get a very close relative of these guys, and that is the common seal. Now, a lot of people get confused between the, uh, the difference between seals and sea lions. It's so easy, No, seals wouldn't be able to jump like that. And the front flippers, you'll see that they are very big. Thank you, Nico. And if you see how our sea lions walk on land, you'll actually see those front flippers actually help keep their chest and belly off the floor. But most importantly, as far as flippers go anyway, look at the back flippers and look at them walk with them. Take a look at Nico and Cassie when they walk really slowly. You'll actually see the back flippers are forward jointed. And it looks like they're mincing along in a little pencil skirt, actually. So it looks like underneath all of that, they have tiny little legs, and that's because they actually do have tiny little legs. Heels that we find in Irish waters, they have very small front flippers, and when they move on the ground, they have to inch along like a caterpillar, because they're unable to walk with their flippers. So here's our sea lion's impression of a seal fly. Or a seal wiggle. Give them a little clap for having to embarrass themselves. That was actually very good. Well done, Nico and Cassie. Our other predators that actually like to eat sea lions. And they'll eat a sea lion as big as Nico without a problem. Now, uh, we're going to get you to guess the name of the uh, biggest threat in the form of a predator that these guys face. And Nico's going to give you all a clue, so he's going to hop into the pool and give you all a clue as to who his uh, biggest predator is. And if you know who he is, shout out loud. Any guesses? Well done, guys. It's a shark. You're all budding marine biologists. Now sharks, in particular the great white shark, are the main predators of these guys in the wild. But sea lions are not stupid, they do have ways of avoiding and escaping them. The first thing they do is everything in numbers, after all there's security in numbers, but there also happens to be lots of eyeballs. So that means they're always, pre uh, always sea lions on the lookout for predators. Now if they do happen to spot a shark in the water that looks like it wants to eat one of them, they'll do quite the opposite of what you'd expect. Most people would think a prey animal would swim or run or fly away from a predator. Not these guys. They go in towards it and there's a good reason for that. A shark in particular, a big grey white shark, about four meters long say, is not a very agile animal. They are very quick though, so in a straight line race, a big great white shark could quite easily outswim a sea lion. But when it comes to moving close or moving in tight spaces, a sea lion is far more superior. It has a very flexible spine, exceptionally powerful front flippers, and they are well able to outswim a shark in close quarters. So what they'll do is swim in towards that shark, they'll hop over its back, swim towards the tail, stick towards the side, they'll keep that shark turning. In fact, most hunting attempts by great white sharks on sea lions are um, unsuccessful. Now, I did mention earlier that sea lions have very powerful front flippers. We're going to get Nico to demonstrate this again. He gave the show away earlier by jumping up to that uh, little orange ball on the end of the pole there. So hopefully he'll hit it again. Whoa! Close, but no cigar. Or should I say, no mackerel. Right, we'll try that again. Right, a nice big round of applause if he gets it, guys. Oh! oh Mr. Touch, give him a round of applause. He doesn't get a mackerel now, he's probably going to bite turn his hand off. Alright, so we've covered a threat that these guys face in the wild in the form of sharks. Now there is another threat they face, but it's caused by us humans, and that is pollution. And I'm sure you guys are well aware of the pollution crisis, particularly the plastic that's floating out in the sea. Um, a big deal is being made of it on social media and on the news. It's a really, really huge threat um, to marine life as we know it. And uh, it's very important that we start acting very, very fast 
uh, to eliminate this problem. Now, you can imagine the threat that it poses to these guys here, not only in the form of entanglement, now large pieces of plastic, bags, nets, and so on, ropes, they get caught around uh, sea lions' necks and flippers, they cut off circulation, and they can eventually kill the sea lion. The other threat that they face is in the, small of, uh, the form of small bits of litter, shiny sweet wrappers floating around in the sea to these guys. It looks like fish. They've got a cold drink bottle they're going to throw into the pool or through the window. And with any luck, the sea lions will show them where they should have put them in the first place. Well done, Nico. Come on, Cassie. One out of two. There we go, two out of two. Litter goes in the bin, guys. All right, now, the training that we do with our guys, um, I mentioned earlier about a reward in the form of fish. We also reward them with a bit of affection and a bit of play. Now, they do love to play. Um, Cassie and Nico's favorite toy at the moment is a frisbee. So we're going to lock their frisbees into the water. They do love to retrieve things. So we'll reinforce the behavior with the frisbee. And this time they're not going to get a fish for that. They're just going to hopefully bring the frisbee back. Or Nico will anyway. I don't know about Cassie. She looks to be having too much fun. There we go. <laughs> Having a nice island dinner, please. 